Hello everyone. Welcome to another set of the series, the DILR Morning with Quantifiers. So this is the initiative taken by us uh, with respect to the CAT exam. Every day we, we do a good DILR set with the proper mentoring and all the hints and everything and how you should approach a set. If you want, if you want to be the part of this movement, do what is mentioned over here. So uh, before we move forward, here is a quick look on the courses that we provide for CAT. These are some of the finest courses available in India. And if you would want to be a part of it, you can join by using the link given in the description. Okay. So as of now, we have covered these many sets. These are all provided with the video solution in the form of PDF to the students. And the playlist link is also provided in the description. Okay. Let's move toward the next set. That is the arrangement set. Now, what does this set, set take about? It says in a competition there are six pairs of chairs which are arranged in such a way that one chair in each pair faces south and the other faces north. So the arrangement is like one chair is south and one chair is north. Similarly, so there are six chairs in such a form. Okay. Uh, thus, any person sitting in the north face cannot see the person behind. So the north ko face karta hai, wo south wale ko dekh sakte hai, vice versa. The pairs of chairs were numbered from one to six from west to east. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is how the chairs are arranged. Okay. And there are six men, A through F, and there are six wives, P through Q. Okay. They are sitting not necessarily in the same order. They participated in the competition. All the men sit on, sit on the chairs that are facing north. So men are sitting in this direction. Women are sitting in, sitting in this direction. Okay. Each of the men was provided with a paper on which he was asked what to write the, uh, at the number of chair. And he basically he had to guess the chair at which his, his, or her, his spouse was sitting. Now, uh, these are the guests made by the men. A4, B4, C, A, this and this. Now there is some information given about it and then there is a set. Uh, if I talk about the difficulty level of a set, it uh, if you have not practiced such type of sets, then it is a 4 out of 5 for you. Otherwise, it is 3.5 out of 5 for you. And the optimum time to do this set is 8 to 10 minutes. So let's let's read the condition and what they say. Uh, none of the men wrote the same number as that of the chair he was sitting in. So if A has written four, A is not sitting on four. If B is written, B has written four, B is not sitting on four. So okay, this is one thing. Uh, exactly three men guess the number of their guess the chair number of their wives correctly. So out of A, B, C, D, E, F, there are three men. Who have guessed the numbers right? Yani ki agar A nix yes, uh, sahi estimate kya that his wife is sitting on four. Hai? So basically there are three people such. So A fourth may bet hoga because none of the person has estimated it right. So teen log aise hai jinho ne sahi guess kiya hai. Aur wo teen log apni seats pe nahi bethi hai. Okay, thik hai. Exactly three men guess the chair number of their wives correctly. Okay. Uh, P is sitting to the right of Q, who is the wife of C, okay. R is the wife of A, is to the right of uh, P and the left of S, okay. Exactly three people were sitting in the same number chair as their wife. Now, this is a very interesting point and that is to be clubbed with the first two points in, under, in, in order to understand something. So, what does this point say? Three people are like this. One, two, three, four, five and six. So, these are the chair numbers. Now there are three such people who are sitting in the same number as their wives. Which means ki agar let us say A ki wife yaha pe hai or A ki wife pe hai to A bhi yahi betha hooga. This means, this means hume ye pata hai ki none of the men wrote the number in which he was sitting in. Yani A ne guess kiya tha fourth. Ab agar A ki wife fourth pe hi betha hooti pe, to A humara yaha pe nahi hoota. Lekin A kyunki apni wife ke saath hai, which means A's estimate that his wife is sitting on fourth position is wrong. Or all in all, what we can conclude that all the men, that all men who have guessed wrong are sitting with their wives. Okay, sirf wohi log apni wives ke saath bethe hoonge jinho ne galat estimate kiya hooga. क्योंकि अगर उन्होंने सही एस्टीमेट किया होता तो वो अपनी वाइफ्स के साथ ना बैठते क्योंकि किसी भी पर्सन ने वो चेयर को एस्टीमेट नहीं किया जहां पे वो बैठा हुआ था सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट एंड दिस अपॉन दिस वी विल बैंक अ सेट 
so this is the area where we will solve our set i have jotted down the important points so uh, these are the guess guess made by some it was known that there are some conditions let's try to make the arrangement first p is sitting three places to the right of q so since they are watching south okay so q and three places left first place left second place left third so this is p okay fine fair enough and then uh, r is the wife of a r is the wife of a who is to the right of p so r is to the right of p and left of s and is to the left of s so these are the six people a fairly easy arrangement uh, s r p space space q so this is the order in which they are sitting now there is some condition there's conditions are also given regarding their husband p is sitting three places to the right of q q is the wife of c so q who is the wife of c so q's husband is c so here i am writing the husband so this is not a sitting order here they represents husband and this area this area represents the chairs so this area represents the chairs right and these are all the general information about the husbands so q's husband is c okay uh, r is the wife of a so r's husband is a so this is what we have guess estimated as of now since there is no information given about t and u as of now so i'll have to take two possibilities that here it could be either t or u and here it could also be t or u so this is the estimate now moving forward uh let us see what they have estimated guessed a guessed 4 b guessed 4 uh c guessed 5 d guessed 6 and e guessed 1 and f guessed 3 now we know ki wo log those husbands who guessed wrong will be sitting behind their wife now a guessed that his wife is sitting at 4 a ne guess kiya tha ki uski wife fourth pe baithi hai but aisa nahi hua a's wife sitting is sitting on second which means that a has to sit on second seat okay fine so a is a is done and a lied okay. similarly uh, c guessed that his wife is sitting on fifth and c is wife is sitting on fifth but c is wife is sitting on sixth position therefore c has to come here okay this is also done because c guessed wrong and whosoever has guessed wrong will be sitting in front of their okay. now uh, there is some or more information given about the sixth position what is it that d guessed that his wife is sitting at sixth so d ne guess kiya tha ki uski wife sixth position pe hai which means that d is also uh, d has also made the wrong guess ab kyunki d ne bhi wrong guess kiya tha to d bhi apni wife ke samne baitha hoga wo kahan hai wo mujhe pata nahi lekin ye mujhe pakka pata hai ki d ne galat guess kiya which means b e aur apne sahi guess kiya ab agar inhone sahi guess kiya to b ki wife fourth pe so this is b Uh, this is the I mean, husband wife pair e is 1 so e is 1 and f is 3 f is 3 so all the husband wife pairs are done so d's wife is at fifth position i don't know whether it is t or u but i know that d's wife is at fifth position also i know that d lied mujhe ye bhi pata hai ki d ne jhoot bola tha so d will come here okay now e f and b all these three people have guessed correctly क्योंकि उन्होंने करेक्ट गेस्ट किया था तो हमें कंडीशन दी हुई थी दैट नन ऑफ द मेन रोड द सेम नंबर एज दैट ऑफ द चेयर वाज सिटिंग सिंस ई हैज गेस्ट करेक्टली व्हिच मींस दैट ई इज नॉट सिटिंग हियर सिंस ई इज नॉट सिटिंग हियर ई कैन इदर सिट एट थर्ड प्लेस और ई कैन सिट एट फोर्थ प्लेस सिमिलरली एफ कैन नॉट सिट हियर सो एफ कैन इदर सिट हियर और एफ कैन इदर सिट हियर सो देयर आर टू पॉसिबिलिटीज सिमिलरली बी हैज गेस्ट रॉन्ग सो बी इज इदर हियर और बी इज हियर Again, so all in all, how many cases are there? I have distributed everything, and this completes my arrangement. So let's move to the question. If F is sitting behind B's wife, so question first says if F is sitting behind B's wife. So this is B. If F is here, then F cannot be here because there are two possibilities for F. If F is here, F cannot be here. Then B must then B must be sitting behind B. Is his wife behind? B is sitting behind E's wife. So. Answer to the first question is A part. Okay. Who among the following did not sit on the same number chair as her husband? So S, perfect. S did not uh, sit behind her husband. R, uh, R sat behind her husband, so it is correct. P, P 
he does not so there are two people who does not sit behind their husband so the answer to this question is d option more than one of the above okay which of the following statements is definitely true uh, t is the wife of f t is the wife of f this is false okay t is the wife of d t is the wife of d is again false it can be but it is not definitely true okay p is the wife of e uh p is the wife of e it uh, no not not true okay okay now s is the wife of e this is correct so answer is c okay last question if t is sitting at an even number chair so if t is sitting at an even number chair so t is sitting at fourth place so t is at fourth place u is at fifth place then who among the following is sitting in the same uh, same chair uh, same number chair as d so this is d d is sitting here then t uh, sorry uh, u u will be sitting here so the answer to this question is u so the final answers are a d c and c uh, so this completes our set not a very difficult set but yes a good set and if you would want, uh, wish to be the part of this legacy we are going to start our new batch soon and roll as soon as possible thank you so much guys have a good day